Hello and welcome to another Cortuff UHPC video. My name is Tim and today I'm pleased to showcase the production and development process for several of our latest ultra high performance precast concrete products. Once again, we're on site at Durastress Incorporated in Leesburg, Florida. For this three-day testing session, we partnered with Precast Systems Engineering, as well as various federal and state interests, to produce two 30-foot pretension beams, one 63-foot pretension beam, and two 30-foot pretension H pilings. As part of our ongoing commitment to expanding the knowledge base surrounding Cortuff UHPC, we wanted to use this opportunity to show more of the process that goes into making Cortuff at an industrial scale, as well as highlighting the user-friendly, scalable nature of the product by utilizing industry standard ReadyMix trucks as part of the production process for these components. Here we can see the Cortuff team starting the production process by opening one yard pre-mixed super sacks of our dry constituents complete with steel fiber above the conveyor belt leading to the batch plant mixer. We chose to use one yard super sacks as our delivery method for this testing session to illustrate one available option. However, the product can be delivered in various increments ranging from 50 pound bags up to full tankers. Once the dry core tuff has been loaded, conventional sand, cement, and our wet constituents are then added to the mix. Here, we can see our dual shaft mixer blending the raw products together. Using this method, we find that the mixing process is typically complete and ready to dispense in approximately four minutes. As was mentioned previously, we chose to use ready mix trucks as part of our delivery chain for this test to help illustrate the user friendliness of the product in a real time production environment. Here, we can see the first part of our post mix production chain as we take extensive samples of each batch of core tough to help ensure that each conforms to our rigorous quality control standards before it's placed. Once approved, the truck moves on to the production beds and the pour begins. Here, we are producing one of the 30 foot pretension beams along with a subsequent pour of one of the 30-foot pretensioned H pilings. As you can see, ReadyMix trucks are able to place the material into even the tightest forms with relative ease. Whether you're producing large-scale precast components or working on a small job site, the ability to place and pour Cortuff UHPC using readily available industry standard equipment is invaluable as it can slot directly into nearly any production line without the need to replace existing equipment. After 24 hours of curing time, samples taken from this testing session tested in excess of 8,000 PSI of compressive strength. On day two of our testing, we were solely focused on the production of the 63-foot pretension beam for precast systems engineering. As we did during the first day, we again utilized ReadyMix trucks as the backbone of our product delivery chain for this component. As can be seen here, we found that even on extended pours like the 63-foot beam, the long working time and highly flowable nature of the Cortuff UHPC product allowed for the slower dispensing rate of the ReadyMix truck to not be an issue as it stayed even and consistent throughout the entire pour. From start to finish, we were able to pour the entire beam in roughly 20 minutes. After two days of testing, we once again tested samples taken from this session. After a full 48 hours of curing time, our samples tested in excess of 13,500 PSI of compressive strength. Day three of our testing, unlike the previous two, was all about the extraction of the two 30-foot H pilings from their respective forms. Here we can see the pilings being outfitted with strain gauges to monitor any potential movement of the pretension cables within the pilings. As has been the case with all Cortuff UHPC pretension products to date, the H piling showed no relevant movement whatsoever of the cables embedded inside them during detensioning. Once completely detensioned, it was now time to remove the pilings from their forms. Starting with the rearmost piling, as can be seen here, a large extraction crane was driven into place and connected to the piling via several eyelets that had been embedded into it while it was being poured. Once connected, the crane was able to extract the piling without any complications, resulting in a nearly perfect product. The frontmost piling, like its predecessor, was extracted from its form using the same process as before. Predictably, the crew was able to remove it without complication, resulting in a very smooth extraction process and nearly identical end product, further proving that Cortuff is the most consistent and dependable UHPC product available on the market today. Here, we can see both pilings presenting a nearly ideal finish, matching that of their steel forms down to the smallest detail. Additionally, they were both completely free of any major voids, bug holes, or defects of any kind, and require only minor touch-up work along their edges before they're ready to be installed. 
After 72 hours of curing time, samples taken from this testing session were testing in excess of 16,500 PSI with an expected final 28-day cure value in excess of 30,000 PSI of compressive strength.